my beautiful ninjas thank you so much for tuning in to my channel i hope you guys have been enjoying the content that i've been creating for you if you have make sure to give them a thumbs up and also make sure that you do subscribe for more and for those of you that actually like me and you admitted that you like me and you subscribed already thank you thank you so much make sure that you do also check me out on like my social media which is like instagram facebook and all that good stuff i'll make sure to leave everything down in the description box but in today's video i wanted to actually talk to you guys about and the reason my hair is in the bun i wanted to talk to you guys about my favorite my current favorite hair products that i've been really absolutely loving for my natural hair i have been natural for over four years now which is insane i did do a video on like my natural hair journey and tips to growing long healthy hair if you guys have not seen my natural hair i will probably like insert a picture or something like that but I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about the products that I have absolutely been loving for my natural hair. I, I do have things from like conditioner, deep conditioner, stylers, a little bit of everything. So I really don't want to take too much of your time. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I don't typically shampoo my hair very often. So I don't have a shampoo to mention to you guys because to me, I feel like they're so like stripping to the hair that I don't really use it that often and when I do I just focus pretty much like on the roots just to get the gunk out of my hair and then I just rinse it out but the mo most important things for me are you know products that are going to help to nourish my hair keep it hydrated and moisturized just to kind of rebuild the strength of it so I want to go ahead and just jump right into conditioner the one that I want to mention to you is this right here, which is the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. Of course, you can use any conditioner that works for your specific hair type. But for me, even when it comes to conditioners, I just want something that's going to help to keep my hair extremely moisturized and hydrated. And this is really, this really does a really great job at that. I've been using Herbal Essences products even before I was natural. They smell amazing. They're extremely affordable. You can find it at any drugstore like Target or Walmart or Publix or Winn-Dixie or whatever the case is. So they're very accessible. Like I said, they're very inexpensive. I think for this big bottle, I may have gotten it for like maybe eight or nine dollars. I might be wrong. I'll leave everything down in the description box. But I absolutely love this conditioner. It smells amazing. It keeps my hair feeling really moisturized and soft after I use it. So I definitely would recommend this 100%. So that's the conditioner. I'm not really too, too picky about my conditioners either. Um, just because I feel like I rinse it out much quicker than a deep conditioner. So I just want something that's nourishing, like I said. So of course, with natural hair, whether you're relaxed or not, to be honest with you, your hair needs to be moisturized at all times, because if it's not, then it's, you know, drier. And that's when you're become that's when your hair becomes more prone to breakage and like looking dull and all of that. So definitely a good conditioner that helps to nourish your hair is going to help to just kind of like rebuild the strength of your hair. But the next thing that I want to go ahead and jump into, which I am a little bit more picky about these, are deep conditioners. Deep conditioning is extremely important whether you're relaxed or you're natural or you have color treated hair. Whatever it is, whatever type of hair you got on your head, deep conditioners are amazing. So you definitely need to try to invest in some really good deep conditioners. For me, I do have very thick hair. Your, your hair may not be as thick as mine, so some of these may not work for you. But of course, if you do have very thick hair, I think that these products that I'll mention to you will work extremely well for you. So I do have two deep conditioners to mention. Of course, I have a Shea Moisture deep conditioner to mention because Shea Moisture is amazing. Their products are awesome and like my body, my hair, Everything loves a lot of Shea Moisture products. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this. So the first um, deep conditioner that I wanna mention is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. This thing, for one, it's, I don't think that it was really pricey. I think I may have gotten this for maybe like $6. I don't remember the prices of all of these, so I'll just leave it in the description box, including the price, in case you guys are interested in purchasing these items. But this deep conditioner is amazing. It smells, it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad, but I feel like there's an ingredient in here that smells a little odd to me, but it doesn't smell bad at all. Like, 
I can tolerate the scent, uh, the scent of this. And especially because of how great it works, I really like the consistency of this. It's a really thick product, so a little goes an extremely long way. It really just helps to kind of like hydrate my hair. And you can definitely, I can tell anytime I'm using this that it's a very intensive deep conditioner. So I absolutely love using these deep, deep conditioners. I have a couple and I do kind of like switch between them. This is something that I will use when my hair kind of feels like really dry really like it's been going through it because of like me straightening my hair or whatever the case may be so this is a really great mask for that if you have color treated hair this would work perfect for you as well so i would definitely recommend this 100 percent. and the next one that i want to go ahead and mention is a new favorite and this is the mixed chicks deep conditioner this really i really really like this i think this one smells kind of like a spa not a spa um like a hair salon so like that scent, like a hair salon, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Um, hopefully it does. Hopefully it's like I'm not on my own with this. You can't really see how much product is in here. But like I said, this is a new favorite. But I really like the way that it applies. Again, most of these deep conditioners are like a very thick consistency. So a little goes an extremely long way. But I really like the fact that with this deep conditioner, it helps to kind of detangle my hair as well. Typically, I detangle my hair before I wash my hair. But, and I usually don't wash my hair in the shower, but if I do, like just because I'm in a rush or whatever the case may be, I basically part my hair in fours and then I do my routine in the shower. And I use this in the shower um, as, my deep, um, as my deep conditioner. And I really like the fact that it really helped to kind of like smooth my hair, like just keep it extremely moisturized, smooth it out, and just made it a lot easier for me to detangle again in the shower. So I really, really like this. They're really inexpensive in my opinion, especially because it's an investment for my hair. And especially because like I said, a little goes a long way with these products. So you'll be able to have these for a long time. And I have extremely thick hair. So I absolutely love this. And the next thing that I wanna go ahead and mention to you guys are going to be leave-in conditioners because that's just kind of like the order that I use these products. And the two that I wanna to mention to you are these two right here. The first one is the Miss Jessie Leave-In Condish um, with soybean and aloe. And then the second one is the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In and Detangler. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with Miss Jessie. I really, really like this product. Um, I actually picked this up like on a whim. No, I think what it was is I got this from Target or CVS, I believe. But I think what it was is I found like a Miss Jessie's product at Ross one day and I tried it and I really liked it. And I was like, I want to just try to get more like products from them just to see how I like it. They are a little bit more of like a high end drugstore, to be honest with you, as far as like the pricing. I think this little bottle was like maybe $14 or something like that. To me, it's a little bit pricey, especially because the size of it. I don't think they have anything bigger than this, but nonetheless, I really do like this um, product. I really love the smell of their products. Like it smells really like nice and fresh and clean, which I like those type of scents and my candles and my body sprays, whatever it is, I really like those type of scents. So. I really really like this product a lot I really like the smell like I said it is on the higher end when it comes to like the pricing of this this item but I really like the fact that it's really natural they do have a lot of natural ingredients in this product and as I said it really just helps my hair to keep to stay really hydrated after I've gotten out the shower and it does help to detangle the hair as well so I really would recommend this hundred percent but the one that I really wanted to actually jump into for you guys is this one um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and jump into this one so this one is the kinky curly not today natural leave-in and detangler if you have natural hair if you have think thick kinky curly hair if you have hair on your head you need to get this product this works absolutely amazing as a detangler as well it works as a leave-in conditioner because it does help to keep your hair extremely moisturized. A little goes a very long way with this product. I've had this for a while and I'm still pretty much like at the top. But I really like the fact that this helps to really detangle the hair. Like I was amazed the first time that I used this product because I didn't expect for it to work so well as a detangler. So I really would recommend this 100%. Like I said, if you have very thick hair, if you have kinky hair, if you have curly hair, whatever your hair type is, honestly, this would work really well for you. It's not really too heavy. Like I said, I don't recommend you using too much of this. And I do like the smell of this as well. 
like it's very sweet but it's like a tolerable sweet so I really like the smell of it but it doesn't linger and stay on your hair for a long time or anything like that but I absolutely love this product 100% I would recommend this I, I think this is a little bit expensive also in the drugstore but like I said I'll make sure to leave pricing and things like that in the description box in case you guys are interested in purchasing these items but I absolutely love this like I said if you have hair on your head and you need to detangle your hair right here so that's going to be that and the next thing that I want to actually um, mention as well is a leave-in conditioner I just realized I told you that it was two but it's this right here which is the black uh, the Carol's daughter black vanilla leave-in conditioner and this is for dry dull and brittle hair um, I think you're supposed to or you're able to use this on wet as well as dry hair I do not use this on my wet hair I have tried it on my wet hair I don't like it I use this more on my dry hair if my hair is blow dried if my hair is straightened that's when I actually use it. I use it more as like a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner after like I blow dried or straighten my hair or I use this as a refresher as well for my hair as well. So I don't use this on my wet hair. I don't like it at all. I don't think that it works for my hair. I think that I don't know what it is, but like the ingredients in, the, in this when you use it, well, when I use it personally on my wet hair, I feel like it made it like... I don't know I feel like it created more knots in my hair which was really weird I don't know if it's like the ingredients or I don't know what it was but I don't like this on my wet hair at all but I absolutely do love this on my dry hair this smells absolutely amazing like this brand I would definitely want to try more products from their line but like I said I don't like this on my wet hair at all so I mean some of you it might work for you on your wet hair so I would say definitely try it and it's a spray leave-in conditioner so i feel like on wet hair it's just a little weird because it's like harder to distribute all the way but i feel like it's a little bit easier for me to distribute this on my dry straight or blow dried hair so i definitely wanted to recommend this as well because i love it i love the smell of it it's affordable it's you know accessible because you can get it at your drugstore but as i said i do not like this on my wet hair at all so i want to go ahead and just jump into kind of like the moisturizers or like stylers that I use as well I do have two styling cream products and then I have one gel that I want to mention to you the first styling product that I want to mention is this of course which is by Shea Moisture their products are just amazing my hair loves it so I'm going to continue to use it this is the Shea Moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie and this is for thick curly hair they got the thick part correctly because my hair is extremely thick I have used a lot of this I don't know if you guys can tell but I absolutely love this for one because the smell is amazing this smells like a very amazing pina colada like it's just amazing and it don't sound it does it doesn't smell like a virgin pina colada it smells like a yes I'm on vacation grown woman put it in my cup pina colada it smells so good I really really like this like I said this is accessible as well all of these you can get at like your local like Walmart CVS Walgreens Publix pretty much all those start um, stores Target things like that but I absolutely love this product it's amazing a little really goes a long way with this product I have used I have been ha heavy-handed with this product before and it took so long for my hair to dry like I would not recommend it a little goes a very long way these products I typically use this if I'm actually doing like a twist out or a braid out or if I want to do like a bantu knot out if I'm setting my hair or trying to preserve my curls overnight or something like that that's what I typically use this for and a lot of times I do kind of use this kind of like a, a as a leave-in conditioner because it's so moisturizing that I really think that it works well as a leave-in conditioner as well but I absolutely love this so I definitely wanted to mention this and another styling product or a styling cream product that I wanted to mention is this by Organics, which is the Moroccan Curling Perfection Defining Cream. And this is what it looks like. I'm practically done with this. I definitely have to go back and get another one because I absolutely love this. I've been using this brand and this product for a very long time for years now. And I like using this when I'm doing like a style like, like I said, the Bantu Knot Out, uh, the Bantu Knot Out the twist, the braid, things like that. And I do plan on doing more of those on my channel as well. So you guys will definitely see me using this a lot. I absolutely love this. 
it's really it's not as thick of a consistency as this one so you can be a little bit um, heavy-handed with this and it's not gonna feel like greasy or thick or heavy or anything like that but it really does still help for you to define your hair and to define your curls in the style so I really like the results that I get every time I use this so I absolutely love this I actually use this in what was the name of that video I think it was like the Bantu knot outs that I did for like overnight and I use this um, in my hair as well for that video, I believe. I'll make sure to leave everything like on the screen somewhere and I'll make sure to leave it down below for that video. But I absolutely love this. And then the next thing that I want to actually um, mention to you guys is the Kinky Curly Original Custard Natural Styling Gel. This gel is absolutely amazing. If you have really curly hair and you want something that's gonna help to kind of like help your hair or you help your curls to like pop, this is a really great product that will help because the, this really has amazing slips so it's gonna help for you to really detangle your hair easily. But I really like the fact that this product just really activates your curls. It's such an amazing product. I will continue to pre-purchase this because like I said, I really like the results that it gives. I don't like the smell of this at all, surprisingly, because I thought that both of these were gonna smell the same way, but this one has like a sweet scent to it, but it's like I said, it, it's a tolerable sweet. This one smells like, I don't know, I don't like it at all. Like it smells like marshmallowy, like, I don't know. It's a little bit too much for me. I really don't like the smell of this at all, but like I said, I will continue to repurchase this just because I like the results that it gives and I barely use this. I'll use this to kind of style my hair as well. Like if I want to do a twist out or a braid out or something like that or if I want to kind of like fake the curls. I really like the results that it gives. It has amazing slip. I love just like the results that I get when I use this, but I hate the smell of this. I really do. If you're someone that likes like a really sweet smell, you'll be okay with this, but I don't. I feel like it kind of makes me sick. So that's the only thing that I don't really like about it, but that's that. And then the next product that I want to actually use, this is um, when I use, when I'm going to like blow dry and straighten my hair, this is the product that I use to kind of cut the drying or the blow drying time in half. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Blow Dry Quick Dry Priming Spray primer spray and this is what it looks like I absolutely love this it smells amazing it works amazing it helps me to cut my drying time in half which is like the worst part of just doing your hair in my opinion because your arms hurt it's hot like it's just too much so this product is awesome I really really like this I do have um and this is like a heat protectant as well but I do have another one by L'Oreal I think it's like the sleek it straight iron something um, but it's also like a heat protectant and I use that one when I'm going to flat iron my hair but you can pretty much just get one and use it for both purposes because they're both um, like I said uh, heat protectant so I absolutely love this and then the last items that I want to actually mention to you guys are basically kind of like toppers like whenever I'm done with my hair like the oil that I use or like the hairspray that I use so the oil that I use is this which is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth um, Keratin Infusing Smoothing Serum and this is what it looks like I like this product because it really does give you a very nice like I don't know I would say a nice shine but it doesn't look greasy or it doesn't look like heavy because it's really not heavy it's a very lightweight oil and I really just like the results that it gives because I feel like after I blow dried my hair and also straighten my hair, I still want to kind of like add some moisture with some type of serum. And I also want to kind of like add some shine just for your hair to look more like, I don't know, I don't know, if, no, luxurious is definitely not the word. Um, I, I feel like the shine just adds more luster to your hair and it just looks healthier. So this product is bomb. And then the last thing that I want to go ahead and mention is this hairspray. And I just basically picked this up on a whim. This is the Umberto Beverly Hills Dry Texture, uh, dry texture Spray. And it's supposed to hold definition, dimension, and separation. So this hairspray you can use if you're trying to get like more volume in your hair. Or you can just use it just kind of like set your hair pretty much. Just to kind of keep the style lasting a little bit longer. I don't typically use this every time I do my hair. But it just depends on what the style is. If I have my hair straight, I just use this just as my topper. But if I have like curls on my hair, then I do use both of them. 
because I feel like this just helps for my curls to last a little bit longer and it's a dry texture spray so it's not heavy at all it doesn't smell bad it's not greasy or anything like that and I just do a couple sprays all over my hair and it just helps for the curls or the style that I have in to last a little bit longer so that's gonna be the last thing that I want to actually mention to you guys it's probably a lot of products hopefully this video is not super duper long but I definitely appreciate that you came back to watch my video hopefully you enjoyed this and you got some ideas and some products and things like that that you might want to try if you have tried these products yourself definitely let me know down in the comment section below and also let me know what type of videos you guys would want to watch from me as well so i hope you guys are having a great day again thank you so much for coming back if you have not yet subscribed i would definitely appreciate if you go ahead and click that subscribe button and also make sure that you do like these videos it just lets me know that you like this type of content so i can create more of them so i hope you guys have a great day be safe stay blessed and remember to always treat yourself peace out